Your airdrop is not working? No worries, here are some things you can do to get it working again. First, check that receiving through airdrop is enabled. On iOS, swipe down from the top right corner to open control center, then press and hold around the Wi-Fi icon and check your airdrop setting. Changing it to everyone can often help, or you can try to toggle it off and then back on. On a Mac, click the airdrop icon on the Finder sidebar and check the setting on the bottom of your window. If it's still not working, here's some quick troubleshooting tips. Make sure your devices are close to each other. Turn your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth off and then back on. I often have issues with AirDrop when I have multiple devices nearby using the same Apple ID, especially when I have a computer that's logged into multiple user accounts using the same Apple ID, so log out users you're not using, and consider temporarily turning off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on devices you're not using. Make sure your devices using to send and receive are both unlocked. I've noticed it can help if you navigate to the AirDrop receiving screen on the device you're trying to AirDrop files to. If you're using VPN, personal hotspot, or do not disturb mode, turn those off. Also, make sure your device supports AirDrop. If you're able to see the receiving settings I showed you in the beginning, that means your device is supported. If AirDrop still doesn't work, turn off your device and turn it back on. If things get tough, sometimes adding a third device to the mix can help. Sometimes I'm trying to AirDrop something from my phone to my computer and nothing works. I've noticed I can work around this by airdropping from my phone to my iPad first, and then from my iPad to my computer. It's annoying, but it's one solution when nothing else works. And the last thing, sometimes it just doesn't work, but you come back the next day and try it again, and it magically works again. It's just one of those things. Usually airdrop issues are temporary, so if nothing on this list worked, I would consider transferring files using another method, and chances are next time you try airdrop, it will work just fine. As annoying as it is, emailing the file, using wired transfer, sending it via Slack or Dropbox, these are good backup options to have if you're in a pinch. So that's how you can fix airdrop issues most of the time. Let me know if there's anything missing from my list that you found helpful when solving these type of issues. And before you go airdropping stuff, consider hitting that subscribe button below. I have a whole list of useful tutorials like this in the works, and my goal is to make content that's valuable to you. So thanks for taking the time to watch this, and I hope to see you in the next video.